Hi, I'm Kent McFarland with the Vermont Center for Eco Studies, and today I'm presenting my first screencast about the Vermont Atlas of Life on iNaturalist. And today we're going to feature a new tool we just added, um, thanks to a brilliant idea by a couple of uh, iNaturalist stars, Charlie and Kyle, and um, the great programming efforts of uh, and founder of iNaturalist, uh, Kenichi. And that is Vermont Towns. We've added every Vermont town spatially to the Vermont Atlas of Life so you can track what's happening with observations and species lists in your town anywhere in Vermont. Let me show you how it works. So once you log into the Vermont Atlas of Life and you're on the home page, you'll see at the top here a little drop down called Places. If you click on the icon next to Places, you can actually get a box that says Search Places. In here, you can type in any town you want in Vermont and it will spawn a page for it. Let's type in Woodstock, my hometown. Woodstock, Vermont. You must put Vermont in to help you find it more quickly. Woodstock, Vermont, there it is. Um, I click on Woodstock, Vermont, and here I have it. And the first thing that pops up is a species guide. We've actually recorded now, in the Vermont Atlas of Life, 188 species in the town of Woodstock. And right now, if one of us on iNaturalist, on the Vermont Atlas of Life, if we go out right now and record a new species in this town, it'll automatically be added to this list right here. So here's a, a, a list of everything that's known for the town. The other neat thing is, is you can actually subscribe to this place by clicking on the subscribe button down here at the bottom. And that would give you a message every time something new happens in the town of Woodstock. Perhaps you could keep in touch with your iNaturals friends and, and go and see what they're seeing. Now some of the other tabs here are um, a tab about observations. If you click on that tab, it actually spawns up every observation ever recorded in Woodstock. And you can see this right now we're seeing it in a grid view, but you could also click right here and see it in a list view, or you can even see it in a map view. So I can click on map, and it's going to bring up Woodstock and the location of every sighting ever seen in Woodstock. I can zoom in, look around, I might see some places I want to go. I can click on any of these and see what someone saw. So for example here was someone at the reservoir and they saw a bumblebee which happened to be me. Um, you can click on things like this and just find it. Here's common dandelion uh, that Kyle found in the park. So you can click on any one of these icons and find out what it is. Um, the other thing you can do is actually go back to the species guide and you can see a checklist page. Here you can see everything ever found in Woodstock in checklist format and you can look at it um, as plain text in taxonomic form. So if I click on taxonomic form I will get sort of a tree of life of what's known right now for Woodstock. Um, and over here, this is the tally. We have one fish, six amphibians, only 20 birds. Um, we have a long ways to go in this town um, to fill it out. Now this might be a great feature um, for conservation commissions. And we hope to actually contact as many, if not all, the conservation commissions in the state um, to alert them to this kind of neat tool within the Vermont Atlas of Life. So that's our tool today, Places um, in the Vermont Atlas of Life. Uh, check it out, play with it a little bit. We're going to be adding some uh, protected areas in the future um, to that also, not just towns, but you'll be able to look at protected areas and see what's happening on those. Um, get out there, um, take some pictures, upload them to the Vermont Atlas of Life, and uh, share your observations with us. Thanks a lot.